In this quick video, I'm going to show you an easy way to add some sweet looking shadow box trim to your house. Hey everybody, John from our home from scratch.com and today I have a very quick and easy tutorial on how to do shadow box trim. So if you're looking to add some decoration to your wall, this is a great way to do it. First, we're going to start out by measuring three and a half inches away from the top of your baseboard, down from a chair row molding, which you'll need, and then away from the sides of the walls. That'll give you four corners uh, where you can measure out your pieces. I'm going to use a two by four to do this because it's already three and a half inches. Just use a little piece of that and a pencil, mark out your four corners. Next, I'm going to take a tape measure and measure the distance between each of these marks. Okay, so for the top uh, piece I'm going to measure out and I always start from the two inch mark when I'm measuring freehand like this if I uh, and so I'll, so like two inches to 26 inches that's a 24 inch piece okay so I never use the end of the tape measure unless I'm pulling it against a board like that so it's a good tip to know next I'm going to take some adhesive caulk or a little bit of glue and I'm going to put it on the back of my base uh, base cap molding which I cut on the miter saw to that dimension we just took and I'm going to hold it in place, make sure the ends line up with those corners we marked out. And then I'm going to use a brad nailer to tack it in place. I'm using one and a quarter inch long brad nails. And if you think these uh, have to go through studs, they don't. Uh, since we're using glue, uh, the brad nails will hold the trim piece in place until the glue sets up. And then once the glue set up, it's never coming off. Okay, so I'm just going to repeat this process all the way around this square. Measure to my size and then do the bottom. Uh, the other option you have is making and cutting all four pieces out at once, nailing them together, and then nailing that completed assembly on the wall. But I think this piece-by-piece piece, uh, method is a lot easier. And if your wall's a little wonky or out of square, uh, this will look better if you do it, rather than trying to get the whole one piece unit on there. It may, may look a little uneven or un, unlevel if you do it that way. So especially if your walls are imperfect, this is a great way to do it. So once you get all four pieces on there, you're going to end up with a box that looks like this. Just go in and uh, fill in your nail holes with some wood putty, caulk around the top and the bottom and inside, and then you can paint it. You can paint it uh, white like we did here. We did a semi-gloss white to make it all look like a piece of trim, or you can color the walls differently. So if you're wondering how I did those little triangles and how I did the stairs, uh, I check out the link to the post that comes with this uh, video and I'll give you the dimensions of those angles so you know what angles to cut, at least if you have the similar uh, wall that we do. But that's all I had today. Good luck with this and I will see you over at our site in our next video. Thanks a lot.